Hello and welcome to Brickwork Ratings, what another podcast series. Today we have a very special guest, uh, you know, leading us to the MFI sector. We have Mr. VP Nand Kumar. He's the chairperson with Ashurvad Microfinance. Today we'll be understanding how the sector has been doing, uh, how the challenges are being faced, and what is the going forward strategy. So a very warm welcome to you. Thank you. Uh, so we'll uh, start the session with understanding how the sector has been doing and uh, you know how has been the post pandemic recovery for the sector it is really good uh, in spite of two waves during uh, yeah, consequent years uh, the things are coming up very fast so uh, currently the recovery rate has touched over 95%. So it is good. It is fast progressing. And we, the, what was lacking in uh, earlier, what was the deficiency earlier was our people were not able to reach out because of the uh, difficulties in the transportation. Now, as, as these, are, uh, they, these are removed, they can reach out and collections are fast happening. Now there is good awareness amongst the borrowers how this is going to, uh, if they default, how is it going to uh, 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 make it difficult for them to borrow again? Because they know about the bureau score, how important uh, for that, for the big borrowing or going elsewhere, etc. So they are also conscious. Even when the lockdown were, were there, uh, was there, uh, there was uh, many people of them were calling us. Uh, asking for alternate solution. So, uh, yeah, last year itself, we were at the forefront of introducing various online payment options. So, the money started coming. So, uh, I think uh, yeah, the, to, uh, the, uh, towards the end of this month, uh, we may reach around 98%. That is our target, including the year collection. Probably from next month onwards, uh, yes, that is perfect. So, the resilience is already established. Great. Sir, uh, would you like to put some light on how the collection efficiencies have been for uh, the sector? Uh, since you spoke about a good recovery, which is already there. So Yeah. So, uh, compared to last year, last year, uh, yeah, when the full lockdown was there, uh, the collection has been to 2% uh, 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 during the first month of lockdown. The preceding month, within month, uh, uh, the following month, the 22% uh, gradually improved. Uh, that's the first uh, this thing. Uh, the, uh, he, now it has gone down to only 78%. 78% uh, immediately it has uh, gone to 88% uh, and, and things are fast progressing. So, so uh, the impact uh, yeah, is there, but uh, yeah, it is not as anticipated. But uh, the biggest thing is now that you know, industry players le- like us. Uh, we we understood the real resilience of the industry to face all these challenges. So uh, what we have seen two very very unusual events uh, the, uh, the last one uh, 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 decade. One was the demand, uh, which we have not uh, seen such a, uh, 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 a demonetization drive uh, in our life. And second is this pandemic, which has affected the world over. So. You know, the, the, uh, hopefully this will not be repeated and we are very confident about the business going forward. Great. Sir, uh, would you, uh, because you already spoke about that the sector has already changed a, a lot of challenges and everything. So what exactly are the key challenges right now uh, that the sector is facing? Because a lot would have already been tackled. Uh, so for large companies, uh, yes, uh, they, they have the capital. Uh, and uh, that is uh, also available from many sources. For us, there is no scarcity for that. We have the uh, yeah, highest uh, credit rated in BFC uh, yeah, uh, by two, three uh, leading uh, uh, raters in the country. So we have no problem. And uh, I, 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 what I understand is other large entities also the, don't have any problem. But uh, small entities uh, have some problem because, uh, yeah, uh, in attracting uh, debt as well as uh, yes, uh, the capital. So government has done many things, but uh, to debt to reach out to them has uh, its own difficulty because of the lower credit rating, their NPS, etc. 
so uh, i think that they will also uh, come back very fast and some of them i, I, I read in the media uh, that uh, they are some of the good children i am afraid are also doing well and uh, see uh, we have uh, financed uh, from manapuram finance the parent company uh, has financed uh, uh, a dozen of mfis small mfis and uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah there is uh, no delay in the repayment uh, and uh, all our uh, borrower mfis small mfis are uh, uh, they don't face any liquidity crunch great so i think liquidity issue has already been solved which was earlier when the pandemic started sir uh, what's your outlook on the loan book growth uh, for the sector yeah um, the, we are dispersing currently around uh, yeah, 600 to 800 crores per month and we are uh, expecting our loan book to grow to a size of around uh, 7000 crores this year we are already uh, as, as 6000 crores plus so uh, the growth is uh, the growth also has come back now we are little choosy uh, while grinding the loan because of the uh, uh, mindset of our risk averse uh the, we are uh, giving only for the repeat customers who are in the third cycle fourth cycle etc uh, so till we, uh, we find the stability but still uh, the uh, it is good i think uh, yeah uh, the industry has uh, already come back uh, yeah the only uh, concern uh, uh, in uh, anybody's mind is about the third wave how is it going to impact the, the community sir uh, so what is your take on the par basically the portfolio at risk levels so the portfolio at risk uh, the uh, yeah the yes it is uh, coming down yes uh, the is uh, uh, some of these uh, where uh, we have given uh, the mfis of given uh, the restructuring last year the collections are at a low level because that is very few but uh, some of the, even uh, for some portfolio we have given one month of uh, uh, yeah, relaxation in the repayment but after that uh, the customer started paying so uh, yeah, par, uh, there will not be any par increase from whatever has been reported uh, during the last quarter great sir uh, before we let you go one last question uh, sir uh, since you spoke about a uh, very good recovery coming into it wherein you are expecting almost 98% efficiency also coming in so uh, sir when are you expecting a full recovery to be there in the system one and to what uh, since we spoke about these two uncertain events which have already been occurred so uh, what are the lessons that uh, we have learned from this pandemic and uh, how do you see this whole sector going forward so the for all the new loans uh, for the first a uh, post first wave so the collections are very good so uh, the, it, it will come back and uh, the customers also uh, because a lot of money from the government side also uh, has gone to them and the activities have started and we are expecting good monsoon and all so uh, i think uh, yeah, but for the fear of a uh, third wave it should come back uh, in a matter of uh, the, uh, another two quarters and two quarters so basically we are expecting a recovery in next two quarters right yeah great so it was great having you uh, we had a very quick uh, question answers as well and we understood the whole sector uh, analysis as well from you so uh, thank you so much uh, <laughs> uh, sir uh, looking forward to more such questions i know we uh, keep coming uh, to and fro and uh, uh, moving around here and there and you have always been a big support so yeah yeah thanks a lot Thank you thank you so much thank you